Cup Coochie. I'm Jaylin. And I'm Josh. I'm Kalina. And we'll be your hosts for today. Oh, um, I'm actually not a host today. I'll be working behind the scenes and working on the cameras. So peace, guys. Oh, all right. Well, that's quite unfortunate. Uh, well, anyways, we have the super rad DJs from KSBI.ca, Bronze Bonds and Marvel Cartel, who will be interviewing our guests. Uh, do we have anything else, Jadine? Oh, we forgot to mention why we're hosting. Oh, right. We are hosting because Rigel and Gigi are both on other assignments, so we get to host. Wait, 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 wait. So, who are we introducing today? Right at this moment. Bronze Fawns and Marvel Cartel. Right, then let's get them on right now. Where's my second? My girl cartel. It's okay. I got the floor to myself. This is the bronze bonds. I hear somebody coming. Is that Marvel Cartel? I didn't know it was a race, bronze boss. Race? Yeah, you won. Right, right in here. Oh, I'm excited. I How are you doing? I'm doing great. Hot time. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a weird hug. <laughs> so, so <laughs> hey, a weird do you know, um, you know why I'm so excited? Because we got a special guest tonight Who's to that? interview. I think I know. He's uh, one of the top, he's, he's top, uh, what you call it, uh, what you call it, uh, cover band. Cover band, yeah. Yeah. But he sings some great original, original material. Yes. I think that's what we're going to hear. And you know what? One of his songs puts me in his tears. I can't even talk about it right now, but it's really good. But yes, why do we call, how about, wait a minute, wait a minute, how about, we get, my buddy, before I do that, Get this chair ready for him. Excuse me, my dear. Thank you. And who are we getting here? Craig Allen Olson. Craig Allen Olson. Yeah! <laughs> Hi, I'm Craig Allen Olson from the band The Pop Junkies. I'm going to do three or four of my songs from our River Song CD. The first song is called Interstate. <laughs> Sweet this time, living up and living large. 
Wasn't that exciting that we had Craig Allen Olson from the Pop Junkies here to sing those songs? We're going to invite him out now and maybe he can tell us some more about the songs that he wrote. Yo, wait! They're more Bill Curtell. What about the bronze fonts? You snooze, you lose. Well, oh, I wasn't snoozing. Oh. Okay, but hey, good idea. That guy was great. Let's call up Craig Allen Olson, buddy. Come on up, buddy. Ooh, yeah. Awesome job. Man. Awesome job. Okay. Hey, hey. Sorry, come in first. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that was great there, Craig. Those three songs you just played with there, your originals or what? Yeah, those three songs are from our brand new CD called oh. River Song. Is that the one right here? That's it. Oh, right on. Very cool. And you know what? That last one you played, the third one, that had me in tears, man. What's that like? Tell me a story about that. Like, uh, how'd you come about to doing that one? Well, it was one of those songs that, you know, it, it came very quickly. I, I find for me my favorite songs do. And they do come very uh -huh. quickly. And uh, I was at my, at the time, my girlfriend's home, and uh, she'd gone out for the afternoon. I was just sitting around writing it, and I was writing it about a friend of mine who'd lost a partner recently. And it was more about uh, my faith that, you know, even when you lose somebody you care about, that. It's a traumatic time, but you know when you're ready again, that there is somebody out there that will be right for you, right? So even when things seem bad, you can you can rely that someday you'll find love again. So that's what that's that about. That is beautiful. Thank you for sharing that one. Thank you. I mean, I can actually find somebody. <laughs> Thanks, man. So I, um, I just got a, one very important and quick question for you. Who's your number one fan? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think my number one fan is probably my daughter Sophia. Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, she's uh, she hasn't bought any of our CDs though. Oh. Right? You know, I'm a little concerned. She's five years old, and I'm pretty sure she has ten bucks, right? But uh, no, it's just she's probably my most inspiring fan. You know, and it's one of those things I. When I'm sitting at home and composing music, you know, if if I see my daughter moving to it, or for, if it peaks my daughter, like where she, you know, goes, wow, it's you know, it's amazing what children will find. You know, um, they are very good judges of music. They're very good judges of rhythm. And uh, if my daughter is liking something that I'm playing, I, I generally pursue it. There was this one song I was working on recently, and I thought I'll show it to my daughter. I fear she's going to love this song. And, she goes, Daddy, that's no good, you know. And I and I thought, well, you know, you, you're right. This wasn't one of my better songs, so I, I shelved it for now, and I'll come back to it some other time. Yeah, right on. What about the other two songs you sang? Do they have stories behind them? Um, yeah, yeah, all of them do. Uh, Interstate, uh, the first song I recorded uh, and sang with the Pop Junkies. Uh, it's a song about. Um, it's about it's about recovery, you know. It's about. Uh, a journey of recovery and um, you know in this world you know there's a lot of people out there that suffer from various addictions and stuff and it was a story that I wrote about a, a, a person who realized that they needed to go down and get some recovery for an addiction they were suffering from and on their journey to recovery they um, lapsed in recovery again and it's a kind of a sad story because at the end of the story the person dies as a result of his, his journey and but it was a I tried to do it in as upbeat of a manner as you you could do I mean if you listen to the song and you most people I know listen to the song they think it's a a happy song of, of hope and, and it is a happy song of hope but there's a darker message in it and the darker message is, is that you know you can recover and if you have an addiction or you have a challenge whatever your challenge is whether it's addiction or whatever you can you can rise above it but you know, there's also a dark side to addiction right is that if you don't rise above it you can fall below it and if you fall below it it can be a bad place so 
Sasha. Thank you very much for for coming in for this interview and playing a couple of songs for us. Thank you so much. Thank you, and thank you guys both. You're such a great you. supporters of the local music industry, thank and thank you for the good people here at Club Fuji. It's a fantastic program, and I'm very welcome and happy to be involved with it. And you got a quick w website for us? Yeah, www.thepopjunkies.com. Okay. And uh, depending on when this airs, we're playing on uh, March 18th at the Red Bar Lounge okay. at the Starlight Casino. Okay. And we recommend everybody in TV Land come out and see us. Right on. Thank you very much. Great live. Thank Woo. you. How about the album? How can people get this album? Uh, you can get it on iTunes. You can buy them live at the venues we play at. Uh, we usually just charge $10 for it. Um, and you can get them on Apple, Apple Tunes, or various Google Play, Amazon.com, any place okay. that sells digital format, you can get it. Sorry, Marlboro Curto, but we got to go potty. Bronze Fonz wants to go potty. Let's go, brother. Let's do it. Awesome job. Woo! Nice work, man. Nice work, man. Thank you. Wow, that was just amazing with Bronze Fonz and Marble Cartel and all those wonderful artists jamming out there. Now, let's go take you to Club Fuji Raw and see some wonderful jamming. Hey, it's Jadine. And Josh. And this is Club Fuji. We're here at the Beaumont studio to see Brie McDaniel perform her latest songs from her EP, Light Pollution. Yes, Jadine, we are definitely in for a treat tonight. We also have members of the, uh, of the Open Book Arts Collection who will who have in, uh, got inspired from Brie McDaniel's uh, album and have some light-based artwork. So why don't we go check out that artwork right now, JD? Yeah, sure. Our faults exchange The city we build and quiet and still for the tension to here with Dice and Stephanie. So tell us about the events going today. We are here for the release of Brie McDaniel's EP and we're so excited because she's amazing. So today you guys are promoting uh, Zach Pick. Is, uh, is he also a performing artist today? Yes, Zach Pick is actually opening for Brie this evening. So he's doing a bit of a solo set and then Brie and her band will come on after. We're very excited to hear. Nice. Well, that's it. Uh, thank you guys for that quick interview. Being here tonight. Thanks so much to Bree for inviting me to uh, to join her on this fine evening. As this is called Fault Lines. Science explains 
today uh, so we just heard an amazing performance by him and he uh, performed a few of his songs from his album constellations so Zach why don't you tell us a bit about your album uh, constellations it's my first full-length album uh, I had a couple EPs over the last few years but it's uh, it was kind of a collaboration I, where I wrote the songs and brought them to my band who I've been playing with for for three or four years and uh, we got everyone to sort of give everyone a bit of room to sort of flex their musical muscle, as it were, and uh, I, I'm really proud of how it turned out. Uh, where do you find inspiration to write your music? Well, I think inspiration uh, is, is uh, something that is kind of all around. It's more about sort of learning how to, how to tap into it. Uh, but I mean, I, great, great art everywhere sort of inspires me, whether it's music or um, a great film or just a, a walk in the park or something. Uh, and anytime you have time to like listen to yourself, think, and, and I think anytime you can do that, there's lots of inspiration to be found. Uh, quiet moment. How did you get involved with uh, Brie? Uh, Brie and I share a lot of the same musical friends, and uh, we hadn't met each other until about six months ago. But uh, she, uh, her, her producer is a good friend of mine who produced her record, Jordan Claussen. And uh, yeah, we, we share some band members and it's a lot of mutual friends. So it was a matter of time before we met. So Zach, did you do, uh, was singing your first uh, choice of career? Uh, you know, actually it was. I, when I was really young, my dad was a drummer and I, uh, I picked up a lot from, from him. I didn't start playing drums first though. I think, you know, your parents don't want you to find drums because it's the loudest thing you can possibly play. So I started on guitar, or I started on piano first, and then I discovered drums after, and then guitar was actually the last thing I discovered. And, and the moment I played a guitar the first time, I knew that, that I, I was in love with it, and uh, it's something I wanted to do. Uh, do you have any social medias the viewers can check you out? Yes, yeah, you can find me at uh, www.zachpick.com, Zach with two A's, or you can also find me on Facebook, Zach Pick Music, Twitter, Zach Pick. Uh, Instagram, uh, YouTube, it's all there. Well, that was Zach Pick. Uh, thank you for uh, taking the time. 
And don't forget to check out his album, Constellations. So this last one, Chris Light, um, my brother Josh helped me out with. And this one I co-wrote with Stephanie Ratcliffe. We did her music on earlier, and uh, she started the song and invited me into it. And then totally just selflessly gave it away for me to play it with the banjo from China. <laughs> Daniels. So, Bree, how are you tonight? I'm good. Pretty excited. Uh, so, how did you get involved with the Open Book Art uh, Collection? 
Open Book Art Collective. It's a group of artists that I've worked with for a couple years now. We do group shows, and it just started off with a few friends of mine. And uh, Katrina Stock had the idea to put a group together formally. Awesome. So you're here today to showcase your new EP, Light Pollution. So tell us about it. Uh, yeah, it's just a six song EP and it all has to do with different kinds of light. All the songs talk about starlight or precious gems and jewels and there's, um, yeah, just in the songwriting all these different themes kept coming through and so it's recurring imagery. So I did the artwork for that, all reflecting those things and it was recorded here in Vancouver. We also hear you're going on tour soon, so would you like to tell the viewers out there uh, where you are going? Sure. Maybe a city near you. Um, traveling just for two weeks from Kelowna to Winnipeg. Uh, do you have uh, any social medias the viewers can check you out? Yep, it's all just Bree McDaniel on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And I have a website, BreeMcDaniel.com. Well, Bree, thank you for having us here today. Uh, have a great tour as well. Thank you so much. Thanks. Well, sadly, it's the end of the event. What did you think about it? I think it was amazing. I enjoyed every part of it. And it was especially entertaining, too, with Zach Pick's performance. Yeah, same. Um, we like to thank Bree McDaniels for inviting us. And we also enjoyed the artwork by the Open Art Book Collective. Yes, all the pieces were very amazing, very talented, talented workers, and very unique pieces of art. But unfortunately, we are done here. So let's remind all our viewers out there to stay fun, fun unique, unique, creative, creative individuals. individuals. We are Club Fushi. We are out.